it's a pretty political record, even though every now and then there's some hope in it. You know, Grim Skunk, the name of the band is Grim and Skunk. And the idea of the grim part is sort of sad, you know, messed up state of things in our world today and in the past, you know, probably in the future. Things you have to stand up against, speak out against and fight against because it's wrong. Uh, and then there's the skunk side, which is the hippie side, the natural side, the beautiful side, which is also present. And obviously, you know, we associated that to the skunk, to the weed, to, you know, smoking joints when we started the band, and wanting to be creative and play music and share such a beautiful thing as expression and creativity and music. So there's those two sides that are always there. I think Grim Skunk has always been a very uh, difficult, if not impossible, uh, band to classify. People who are really open-minded, free-spirited, uh, like punks and hippies and metalheads and people who are a little bit more free thinkers tend to get what we do immediately. Uh, the other people tend to get us partially or not at all. <laughs> because we mix so many different styles, uh, we mix different languages, we bring in different musical, cultural elements into our music that it's, um, it can be difficult. So I think we tend to be a little bit more on the heavier side of music than on the root side of music where it's just happy, happy. with Garth Richardson is is fantastic. I mean, first of all, he's uh, an amazing person, amazing guy, one of the nicest, coolest guys that, you know, I've ever worked with, period. Garth has done, you know, hundreds and hundreds of fantastic records, in including, you know, the first Rage Against the Machine record, which is, without a doubt, one of the most important rock records of all time. Um, but his family was also important. Like, his history of music, his father had mortgaged their house to make the first Guess Who record. Bob Ezrin, who his dad uh, trained and, and, and grew up with, who did Pink Floyd The Wall and tons of records. Um, this is a family history that goes back to, to the, the initial days of rock and roll in, in Canada. Working with him is fantastic because he'll come up with ideas. He'll, there's no limits. He'll say, well, I like that, I like that. Can we do something about that? And then it's up to us to find a solution. And, and the song turned out amazing. The internet didn't exist when Grimskunk started. Think about that. You know, this is like the entire universe has changed, not just for music, but for, you know, everything. In the old days, if you actually managed to record something, you were already considered serious. People would take you seriously. If you recorded something and released something, you were almost like, oh, well, you're a real band now. You know, you actually made like a record. Um, today, you know, you can get on your computer, have like no experience, no talent, no anything screw around with a machine, make music, and you're competing with the band that spent 20 years, you know, learning their trade. You know, obviously the cream and the quality will rise to the top, but you're still competing for space. So there's a good and a bad side to it, and I think that it's probably the best time to be independent, because, you know, you have access to everything, you have control over everything, which is what we always strived for and sought to do but it was hard back then. The only difference is once you got it back then, you were set. Now, once you get it, you still have to fight every day. We've toured and touched people, you know, all over the world from Australia to South America to Europe to, 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 to Canada to the States. Music's a very powerful thing, very, very powerful thing. I am happy that, to some degree, Grimskunk gives 
love and good vibes through music, but I also think that it's great that we're able to give a message of, of peace and unity um, through lyrics that talk specifically and without fear about certain things. I can't do nothing because my hands are tied. Frustrations building up inside. I'm waiting for the change of time. Waiting until I'm through with you. You're telling me that you don't like your life, that you're a jaded soul that can't set things right. You're just greedy thinking of yourself. No surprise, no one likes your personality. Bien sûr, écoute, ça me, ça me fait plaisir de, de, de pouvoir m'exprimer en français aussi. On va faire beaucoup de tournées dans, dans l'année qui vient. Euh, on va tourner en Europe, on va tourner en Australie, on va tourner peut-être en Amérique du Sud aussi. On va tourner au Canada, au Québec, évidemment. On va faire des festivals cet été. Notre concert est, est rendu euh, assez épique parce qu'on a un, un choix de chansons assez, assez large pour, euh, pour créer des concerts qui, 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 qui traversent toute l'histoire du groupe. C'est vraiment sur scène qu'on on, on vit les moments les plus magiques avec les gens à travers la musique. Music.